I was the first, I know nothing about technology. I know nothing about management. I know nothing about, but the only thing is that you don't have to know a lot of things. You have to find the people who smart you up. For so many years, I always tried to find the people who smart than I am. And when you find so many smart people, my job is to make sure the smart people can work it together. And then if smart people can work it together, it's easier. The vision they will believe. Because if stupid people can work it together easily, smart people can never work together. <laughs> When you are 20 to 30 years old, you should follow a good boss, join a good company to learn how to do things properly. When you're 30 to 40 years old, if you want to do something yourself, just do it. You still can't afford to lose, to fail. But when you're 40 to 50 years old, my suggestion is that you should do things that you are good at. Right. And not do things that, oh, that's very interesting, I want to try something new. It's a bit dangerous more. When you're 50 to 60 years old, spending time training and developing young people, the next generation. When you're over 60 years old, better stay with your grandchildren. I think globalization cannot be stopped. Nobody can stop globalization. Nobody can stop trade. I think globalization did a fantastic job in the past 30 years, enriched a lot of countries, but of course caused a lot of problems, right? Young people did not have opportunities. Small business have not opportunities. Develop developing countries were neglected, but it's only 30 years. It's a baby. Today, we have a better technology we we'll have a better knowledge about globalization. And it's our generation's responsibility or opportunity to improve it. Tell me, how can you stop globalization? Education, it's a good, big challenge now. If we do not change the way we teach, 30 years later will be trouble because the way we teach, the, the thing we taught, teach our kids are the things the past 200 years is knowledge based. And we cannot teach our kids to compete with this machine who is smarter. We have to teach something unique that is machine can never catch up with us. I never thought I could be a CEO. I never thought I later I'd become a good CEO. One of the things I learned is from teachers. As a teacher, very important the character of a teacher is the teacher always expects his students better. If you don't have this kind of thinking, it's a, it's a, it's a lousy, it's a, it's a terrible teacher.